Welcome to the 10 Minutes of Code for TI Innovator Hub. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you where to find and download the online TI Innovator System Getting Started Guide, how to prepare your TI84 Plus CE graphing calculator, how to connect your calculator to the TI Innovator Hub with TI Launchpad Board, and some tips and tricks to help you and your students start programming in no time. I'll refer to the online TI Innovator System Getting Started Guide throughout this video. It might be helpful to open it now. Just click the icon at the bottom of this page. Now make sure the calculator operating system is up to date. Press the second key, then the plus key to open the memory menu. Press about to open the system specification. You will need to have the TI-84 Plus CE operating system version 5.2 or higher. Next confirm that the Hub app is installed. Press the second key, then the plus key to open the memory menu. Select Mem Management. Then Apps. And look for Hub in the list of installed apps. If your operating system is up to date and the Hub app is installed, you're ready to start coding. If you need to update the operating system or install the app, please refer to the system requirement in the Getting Started Guide starting on page 7. When your calculator is ready, use the Mini A to Mini B USB cable that comes with the TI Innovator Hub to connect the devices. Insert the connector, labeled B, into the TI Innovator Hub, and the A connector into the calculator. The instructions are on page 8 of the Getting Started Guide. Turn on your calculator. And if the LED on the TI Innovator Hub glows green, you're ready to start coding. If you don't get the green light, check the simplest thing first. Is your calculator turned on? Still no green light? Disconnect and reconnect the cable. This is important. The ends are not reversible. Make sure the A connector in the A port on the calculator and the B connector is in the B port on the TI Innovator Hub. An easy way to remember is that the Bs go together. The B connector goes to the hub. Also, make sure the A connector is fully seated in the calculator port. No metal should be visible. You can find more troubleshooting tips beginning on page 29 of the Getting Started Guide. Now, for a few tips and tricks to help your students get the most from their coding experience. Tip 1. If you enter something that you want to change, press the delete key to remove it. If you press the clear key, it will delete your entire line of code which you probably don't want to do. Tip two, with that in mind, build your code using the commands in the hub menu. This saves time and helps ensure you're using the correct command spelling and syntax. Tip three, if the hub beeps, that means you've sent a command it doesn't understand. Look over your code to find the error. Tip four, to stop your program when it's running, press the on key. There's a lot more information, organized, and easy to follow, step-by-step -step fashion, starting on page 11 of the Getting Started Guide. Now you're ready to start writing code to control the LEDs and speaker that are built into the TI Innovator Hub. Good luck and happy coding!